If you're wanting to add additional content to your Gmod server, which you more than likely are, you may need to mount Counter-Strike source files. Some game modes require content from Counter-Strike source to provide missing info for certain props and things. It's a pretty easy process, even though it sounds kind of intimidating, but if I can do it, so can you. You'll need to own a copy of Counter-Strike Source to get the copies of the files that are needed. You're going to need to look for the folder on your computer called C-Strike. It will probably be somewhere like this directory here. Probably. And then inside the C-Strike folder should look like this. Now you'll need to use something to create a zip file. I'll be using 7-Zip, which is free by the way. Did you hear that? It's free. Once you've finished putting all those files into a zip, you'll need to go to the file manager on your server for the next step. Upload your Counter-Strike source zip file. When you're in the main directory, create a folder called C-Strike. You'll then need to unzip the file inside the C-Strike folder. Once that's done, you'll need to go to the file called mount.cfg. Click edit, and it will have stuff already inside that you'll need to make changes to. We're only gonna be changing line nine though. The first thing you need to do is to remove the double slashes. If you don't remove these from the first line, it'll be skipped and not even read by the game. Next, change the file path in line nine to slash home slash container slash cstrike. This is the directory of the C-Strike folder you've uploaded to the server. Once you finish those changes, make sure you hit save. And that's it. You'll just need to restart the server for the changes to take effect. All of your content should be good to go now.